Selected. Screen recording. Button. Hi, guys. Overcast. How's it going? This is Aaron Linson. And today, I wanted to, wanted to show you how to use a focus mode and how to set it up. So let's go into settings here. Settings. Search. Search and field. look for focus mode. And usually it's down the loop at bottom of the screen here. So but sounds and haptics. Notifications. Sounds and focus button. And I'm going to focus here. Do not disturb on button. And as you can see, I have do not disturb on. Because I don't want notifications coming in from other places while I'm doing this video. Sleep button. And I have a sleep one selected. Focus silences, alerts, and notifications. And let's see here. Do not disturb sleep. Fo share turning the focus on for the share across devices. And this on. can share across devices if you want it to. So I have an iPad and I can create a focus on my phone or my iPad and will sync across the devices when I have certain applications or wanting to do a specific thing that's open. Add button. But I'm going to go up here to the add button, the top add button right of the phone. You can flick to it. Add. But sometimes close button. I find that doing explore by touch works a little bit well for certain things. What do you want to focus on? Heading. So, what do you want to focus on? We have a couple of, of things here, but I usually like to start out doing a custom one just because I want to be able to control the experience. Choose a focus to get started. So, I can choose the focus. Custom button. Custom. Driving button. Fitness button. Driving fitness. Gaming button. Gaming. Mindfulness button. Mindfulness. Personal button. M personal button. Personal. Reading button. Reading. Work button. Work. Work. Reading work button. Reading work button. Reading button. Reading. Well, there's actually, the reading one is actually what I want reading to do. Reading focus. Heading. What do you want to focus on? Back button. So, and then you brought up with this, I think they're called splash screens. But it basically tells you what you can do and what this focus mode can do. And pretty much every single focus mode is the same. They're just labeled different. And the ones that are labeled, instead of the customized one, you can't go back and label them by itself. So you would have to create a custom one and label it yourself. But since reading is the one that I want to do, I will share your web. Next button. Go to the next button. It's the bottom of the screen. Notifications. Heading. Allow people for notifications. Heading. And allow people for notifications. So I can actually go in and allow people to contact me if I want to. But choose the people you want notifications from when this focus is on. Allow people. Not necessarily gonna remove all. Add person button. Other people. Allow incoming calls from your favorites. Do that. Other people allow incoming calls from your favorites. So I have set calls from favorites button. Calls from favorites, and that's fine because I can go in and change that. I don't necessarily have to have have to set up people, but add person button add add person. Button, let's go to add, add person, groups, and you're button. presented just like if you wanted to add somebody. You're presented with a list, just like you are in contacts or in your phone when you're looking for a contact. Let's add search search field. We can search, so let's just J R E S. Top name matches Jessica Minetti. Just add. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window button. Just go here. Search. Search field. And insertion point at end. Search field is editing. Search. It's Character just mode. Add. Insertion point at start. Let's just do M. O. Add my search results. Mom. My mom here. Double tap to dismiss pop-up window button. And search. Search field. Insertion point at end. Search G. R. A. My grandma. Search results. Grandma Riffle. Search, search field, and insertion point at end. Add is a couple search. more. T R I O B. Search results. Rob Lambert, Casey Roberts, Robert Beck, Robert Riffle. Cup and one search, more. Search field. Insertion point at end. Search uh, field let's is editing. See here. Search character mode. Insertion point at R U. Search results. Ruth. Add done button. Those people, and then go back up and hit the done button. Now, back button. The people that I've added. 
they can call me along with calls from favorites button people in my favorites so if i have other people in my favorites i can then uh edit that list so other people can call me outside of the people that i have listed in the people that are are allowed to call me when this focus mode is on allow button and i can allow apps for notifications hey. now we get to the apps that are allowed to send notifications and quite honestly if it's a reading mode i don't necessarily want any applications except for the people who are texting me and calling me coming through because usually i'm doing reading during the morning and the night time and sometimes sporadically throughout the day and so when i'm reading i don't necessarily want anything coming through until i turn off this focus mode into a point on the focus mode is turning on and off when you exit the applications that you have set and we'll look at that in a minute those focus modes will be able to turn themselves on and off within those applications. Add app button. So add. we see the same add app screen here. Other apps. And we have another app setting. Time sensitive image clock. And let's look at what this says about it. Time sensitive switch button on. Allow apps not in your allowed list to send notifications marked as time sensitive immediately. So we can allow applications to mark themselves as time sensitive ones that are marked as time sensitive i'm going to keep this on because sometimes apps like to abuse this power and i can go in and set this if i want to allow only time sensitive turn it off. button allow only time sensitive button. someone go only go is ready. going heading. to allow time sensitive here your focus is ready heading and so my focus is ready so i'm going to done. button done button go down at the bottom of, bottom of the screen with a four finger four finger four finger single tap here done button and then hit the done, done. button focus now, back button now that focus is ready and i'm inside of that reading focus reading heading but there are some other options that i can do as well i'm going to just explore kind of in the middle Allow of the calls and notific options heading focus status on button focus status is on home screen button Fo home screen button home screen now i can go in here and turn on and off certain certain home screens so if i have all my business and work applications on one screen and personal on the other i can switch between those with different work applications or different home screens which is really really neat i don't necessarily have that problem um it's a good problem to have but i don't necessarily have that problem and so i leave this alone lock screen button and I can go in here and do the same thing with the lock screen. So, but let's go in here and see what we got. Appearance, heading, dim lock screen, switch button. So off. I can dim the lock screen. Doesn't really help because I can't see it anyways. Silence notifications, heading, show on lock screen, switch button, off. As silence notifications, they can be shown on lock screen. Uh, I don't necessarily, well, don't, yeah, why not? On. I was in my thought process was I don't necessarily pull down the notification stage, but sometimes reading I pull down that off. notification stage. I did a two finger scrub from left to right to go back to my lock screen, reading button. focus. Lock screen, but we're gonna slower down add here. Add schedule or automation button. Add schedule or automation button. So add schedule or automation. Let's go ahead and flick to the right. Have this focus turn on automatically at a set time, location, or while using a certain app. Have this focus set while using a location, application, or at a certain time. So I'm actually going to add schedule or automation. Dig in here, double tap. Cancel button. And I'm looking for specific applications. New automation. Choose when you want the automation to happen. Choose when I want the automation to happen. Time. Example from 12:30 p.m. to 2:30 p.m. Time button. example. So you can set a length of time. Location. Example when I arrive at work. Button. Location. So like when you arrive at work. When you arrive home, you can have certain ones set up, which is really, really neat if you do commute to work. App, and example, back home when I open books. Look, app, example, when I open books, button. App. So this is what I want because I have a couple of applications here search, that I want to um, find. So you brought them brought into a vertical list 
and you can go scroll through or you can search. Searching would be a little bit easier in this case. So I'm going to search search, search for these apps search here. B. Oh. Oh. And what the books. Books. Books application. Focus. Back button. Books on while using books. Button. And you gotta go in every single time. So it doesn't Books. Delete automation. Books. Red automation. Reading will turn on when books. I'm gonna add books. another one. Delete automation. And it button. doesn't books. Ha ha reading. Back button. It doesn't reading. necessarily Back. allow you to add schedule or automation button. Select Cancel multiple button. at a time, so you got to go back into the automation app. Example when I search. Got to go back into the application. Adobe Connect. Let's see here. Anchor. I want to find B heading. Backpack. Bard Mobile. Be my eyes. So Bard there's mobile. Bard Mobile. I want to select that. Yeah. So Focus. you Back even button. finding through the list, you can't select multiples. You got to go. Bard Mo add schedule or automation button. Go back into the automation here. Cancel. But app. Example. And go to the app. Search. Search field. So let's search. Let's search. Field. Search for a couple more. Insertion plus N. L. Delete. L. Delete N. Let's see here. Um, I've already got the Bard one. L. U. I. R. E. Let's do Lyrae, which is liar. my RSS reader. Bard mobile. Liar on. Add schedule or automation. Add schedule. Add schedule. App. Example. When search. App. Search field. Search. Search field. And let's put in. Insertion B. O. I. B. My Bible app. Bible. Focus. Back reading. Heading. And then, Focus. Back button. since I have all that set up. Reading. Switch button. Reading. Switch button. Off. Reading. Heading. Focus. Back button. Go. Focus. Hit that back button. Settings. Back Get out of settings, these focuses. Settings, heading. And now we were in the main settings on in the settings app. So if I settings, go to reading folder, my settings. reading folder. Now I forgot to put a couple couple of applications such as Audible and Kindle, but that's fine. Let's just open up Bible. Bible. E version. Selected Bible to alert. Do you love the Bible app? No button. Yes button. Yes, but it's going to ask me alert. to rate it. Thank you. No thanks button. I don't want to rate it. Selected. Good evening, Aaron. So two of two button. Control You center. should get a notification no that button. off. Selected screen recording button. Selected focus. Do lock rotation. Selected focus. Do not disturb button. That so since I have a do not disturb focus on, it didn't show, pull down the reading window. But if I focus, take that out, and I. Go out of that application. Overcast. Apps with Bible active. And closing Bible settings active. I cancel out that application. Reading folder. Six apps. Go back into item. the reading folder. Bible. One new item. And go into the Bible folder. By Good evening, Aaron. Reading on. It has now activated that reading focus. And now when I flick up or flick up, do the one finger pull up from the bottom to go to the home screen or what I have set assigned is my four finger swipe up to get out tab bar more tab 505 Bible one new item and I reading close out of that folder overcast reading off button the focus has told me that the reading overcast. is off that the reading focus is off so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to use focus from a beginner's point in perspective control center airplane mode switch and i'll see you guys selected. screen recording in button. the next video bye bye